Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to edit portraits with a natural look using Retouch For Me plugins. By the way, before we start, Retouch For Me is having a Black Friday sale wherein you will get 35% off on all the plugins. This is a limited offer so grab this deal now. Click the link in the video description to avail of the huge discount. Okay, and with that out of the way, let's get started. First things first, we need to remove the pimples and other skin blemishes. Duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl and the letter J. Then go to Filter, Retouch for Me, Retouch for Me Heal. Let's wait for it to finish processing for a couple of seconds and that's it. The Heal plugin did an amazing job removing all the blemishes. Then we click Apply to go back. Let's rename this layer to Heal. Duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl and the letter J. Again, we go to Filter, Retouch for Me, Retouch for Me Dodge Burn. I usually set the blend slider to 140. Okay, that looks great. We toggle the soft light layer and click Apply. Then we change the blend mode to soft light. Then rename this layer to Dodge Burn. Now press Ctrl, Alt, Shift, and the letter E to create a stamped visible layer. Then go to Filter, Retouch for Me. Retouch for me portrait volumes. This will add depth and dimension to the image. Okay, the default 100 value seems fit for this image. Again, we toggle soft light layer and click apply. Then change the blend mode to soft light. Then rename this layer to volumes. Again, we press Ctrl, Alt, Shift, and the letter E to create a stamped visible layer. Then go to filter. Retouch for me. Retouch for me eye vessels. This will remove the red veins on the eyes. For this image, it is very minimal. Then rename this layer to Eye Vessel. Duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl and the letter J. Then go to Filter, Retouch for Me, Retouch for Me Eye Brilliance. This will brighten and enhance the eyes. Okay, that looks nice. Then we rename this layer to Eye Brilliance. I believe we applied all the necessary plugins to retouch this image. So let's group all the layers together. This is the original image. This is with the Retouch For Me plugins. Before, after, before, after. Let's zoom in. Before, after, before, after. What do you think? Was this edit natural and realistic? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. By the way, this is the on-device retouching. There is an alternative and faster way to retouch images using the Retouch For Me Cloud Retouching. Let me show you. So we open the Retouch For Me Photoshop panel right here. Then enable all the necessary plugins to retouch this image. In this case, let's enable Heal, Dodge and Burn, Portrait Volumes, Eye Vessels, and Eye Brilliance. Then we click Retouch. It is processing in the cloud, so the editing process is much faster. And that's it. It created individual layers per plugin. We can always adjust the effect by decreasing the opacity or applying a mask. Let's group all the layers together. This is the original image. This is with the Retouch For Me plugins. Before, after, before, after. Let's zoom in. Before, after, before, after. If you've seen my last video, I've talked about the difference between on-device and cloud retouching. I'll put a link down in the video description, as well as my playlist for all Retouch For Me videos. Again, Retouch For Me is running a Black Friday sale. Click the link in the video description for a whopping 35% discount on all of the plugins. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. Subscribe for more videos like this. And click the bell icon to enable notifications. I'll see you on my next video. Thank you for watching.